Hi, Mr. Pulley here with another Schoology quick tip. This one is not so much a visual thing, but it is a way to help keep my students on track. This is how I use completion rules in Schoology. So let's get started. So the last thing I want to show you is how I use completion rules uh, in part of my course organization to keep my students on track. And I want to show you by I've gone through and taken the completion rules off, but I use those in my assignments. You may recall that I have this unit question and video assignment. So I'm going to click on this folder. And because I have all my assignments for the daily work sort of in a folder, that gives me the option of setting completion rules. To do that, I simply go up here to options, click on student completion, and then it does, I can add these requirements. And I am going to check this box that says requirements must be completed in a sequential order. So to add these things on, it's going to come up with the first one is in here is the, the first item, they're going to be in the list. So the first one I want is the first item. They have to view this item. And then I'm going to go in and add the next one, which is to watch this next video. They have to view. The next one is simply then going down to the first set of reading questions, and they must make a submission. Now, if you want to do this for sort of a master, you can also go in and say, hey, score at least, and they could say, what do they have to get out of 12? I'm going to go simply with they have to make a submission. And I'm going to go through here and add the rest of these quickly. And making the submission here for this last reading assignment is the last one I do. At this point, I say save changes. And this then will make the students have to answer all these things in the same order. As you can see, if I go into student completion now, you'll see that all those rules are set. Okay, as you can see here, it's going to say, hey, they have to view the videos, and they have to do that, to view the video before they, it opens up the next video, and then view that video before they do the next set of reading, first set of reading questions, which they have to make a submission, and so on. And then they've got uh, a mini set of assignment here where they have to make a submission, a post discussion, which is essentially posting what they make for this mini set of URQs, and so on. And that's why I use completion rules to keep my students on pace. Okay, I certainly hope this helps. I heard uh, one time in a flipped classroom book that, uh, hey, sometimes self-pace for students becomes no pace. So I use completion rules to sort of keep my students on pace, but allow them to work ahead if they need to work at their own pace. So hope that helps, and thanks for watching.